All right, so we are back. Um, next thing we want to do, well, the ultimate goal really, right, is to train this thing uh, based on some training data. Um, obviously, in order to train it, we need to be able to run data through the network. So the first thing we're going to need um, is a run method. So let's define a region here. And region, and this will be, uh, we'll just call it these methods. Okay. So we're going to need a run method. Uh, it will be public void run. We're going to need two parameters. Pass by reference, we're going to need a double array uh, of input values. And we're going to need an output by reference to another double array that will be output. Okay. <coughs> All right, so the run method is going to be pretty straightforward. Um, let's do a quick validation here. Uh, let's make sure we have enough data. Um, I just want to verify that the length of the input is the same as the input size. Otherwise, we're going to go out of bounds for the array. If not, let's throw a new argument exception. Um, we'll say input data is not of the correct dimension. Shun. All right. Okay, so the output array is going to be the size of the output layer. So let's go ahead and dimension that. Output is going to be a new double array of size, layer size of layer count minus one. Okay, right, everything's indexed at zero. This is C sharp. Um, and there are layer count many layers, which means the last index is layer count minus one. The size of that is the size of the output layer. And so we dimension the output as such. And let's run the network. <coughs> so for int L equals zero, L is less than uh, layer count L plus plus. So we're going to go through each of the layers and then we're going to go through each node on the current layer. And for each node on the current layer, we're going to take the output of every node in the previous layer multiplied by the weight that connects it to the current layer um, and add all those up. And then we're going to add our bias term and, uh, and then eventually we're going to pass it through uh, the sigmoid uh, at this stage. Okay, so what we need to do is go through each node on the current layer and I always use uh, the integer j to be the current layer, i is always the previous layer. So int j equals zero, j, oops, j is less than layer size of l, j plus <coughs> plus. Okay, so now for each node in this layer, what we need to do is add up the product of the weight that connects this node on this layer to all of the nodes on the previous layer times the output from the previous layer. So let's uh, let's define a little double here. Double sum equals zero. This is going to be a holder variable. Um, and then let's scan right for each jth node on this current layer. Let's scan through every node in the previous layer um, and take the product and stuff it into the sum variable here. Okay. So for int i equals zero i is less than, well, it depends. Um, if l is zero, then it needs to be less than the input size. Input size. Otherwise, it needs to be less than the layer size of the l minus first layer, right, the previous layer, i plus plus. Now this should look very, very similar because this is the exact same i if uh, sorry, immediate if expression. So for every node in the previous layer, what I'd like to do is go sum plus equals, and I'm going to take the weight for this layer, connecting node i in the previous layer to node j in this layer, and multiply it by the output of the previous layer. Now, the output of the previous layer, of course, will depend on whether or not the previous layer is the input, or it's just another layer. So this, again, is an immediate if. 
if we're looking at the first layer, then this needs to come from the input, right? From the ith input. Otherwise, it needs to come from our layer output that we have of the L minus first layer, right? That's the layer before this, uh, node i, okay? Now this is why I mentioned a couple of videos ago, this layer output video, or sorry, layer output variable. Um, this is why we need to hold on to this, uh, is because I need to look at the output from the previous layer in order to propagate the signal forward through the network. Um, and that's where it's coming up in this particular instance. Okay, so what we've just done is take in this variable sum, initialize it to zero, take the product of the weight times the input for all the nodes in the previous layer, add them all up, and then the last thing we need to add is the bias term. So we'll go sum plus equals the bias for this layer, for this node, that's LJ, okay? And this is the, uh, this is the input uh, that we're gonna pass through our transfer function. Now, recall I also created a layer input array uh, of LJ. And this, I said we need to store the input to each node on each layer. And this number here, sum, actually holds that right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set layer input of LJ equal to sum to save it off right now. And then I will go ahead and compute the output. Layer output of this layer's jth node is going to be Uh, transfer functions, the class dot evaluate. Um, now we need the transfer function I'm trying to evaluate, which I can get from my transfer function array for layer L. And the input is going to be sum. Okay. Um, so that is that. So what will happen here is for each layer in the network, starting at the front, we're gonna go through each node, compute the product of the weight times the output from the previous node, add them all up, tack on the bias term. We're gonna save off that input for later. Um, and we're gonna set the output of the current node equal to whatever our transfer function evaluates to. Um, and this is our from our static class that we created before. Excuse me. So now what this will do is it'll run it through the entire network. And the only thing I wanna do is copy the output to the output array. Okay, so now for int i equals zero, i is less than layer size of layer count minus one, i plus plus. Um, so, sorry, this is like before, uh, layer size of layer count minus one is the size of the output layer and I dimensioned uh, output, the output variable for this method, to be layer size of layer count minus one, right? That's our output layer size. Um, and this is I'm going to just set uh, equal to, so output of i is gonna be equal to uh, the layer output, right? Which I computed up here of the last layer, that's layer count minus one, node i. Okay, and that's it. So we dimension the output, we scan through each layer, compute what the input should be. Uh, that's all up to here. Compute what the output should be based on the transfer function we've assigned to this particular layer in the network. And we copy that into the output and that's it. So in the future, all we'll do is we'll run it, we'll give it an input, it'll return an output and that's it. That's our network working. Okay, so that's the run method. Um, I'm going to stop this here, and we're going to go through the train method, which is more involved. Um, and then we will do some tests. All right.